ਇਕ ਓੰਕਾਰ ਸਤਨਾਮ ਕਰਤਾ ਪੁਰਖ ਨਿਰਭਉ ਨਿਰਵੈਰ ਹਕਾਲ ਮੂਰਤ ਅਜੂਨੀ ਸੈ ਭੰਗ ਗੁਰ ਪ੍ਰਸਾਦ ਜਪ ਆਦ ਸਚ ਜੁਗਾਦ ਸਚ ਹੈ ਵੀ ਸਚ ਨਾਨਕ ਹੋਸੀ ਵੀ ਸਚ ਕਹਾ ਬੁੱਧ ਪ੍ਰਭ ਤੁਛ ਹਮਾਰੀ ਬਰਣ ਸਕੈ ਮੈਂ ਮਾਜੋ ਤਿਹਾਰੀ ਹਮ ਨਾ ਸਖਤ ਕਰ ਸਿਫਤ ਤੁਮਾਰੀ ਆਪ ਲਿਹੋ ਤੁਮ ਕਥਾ ਸੁਧਾਰੀ ਹਮ ਨਾ ਸਖਤ ਕਰ ਸਿਫਤ ਤੁਮਾਰੀ ਆਪ ਲਿਹੋ ਤੁਮ ਕਥਾ ਸੁਧਾਰੀ ਸਤਨਾਮ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀਓ ਦੋਹਰਾ ਏਕ ਸਮਾ ਤੋਹੇ ਮੁਦ ਮੁਲਕ ਹੋਈ ਵਰਖਾ ਕੀ ਲੋੜ आए गुरु जी डिग खड़ी सब संगत हाथ जोड़ एक समय तहे मुद मुलक होई बरखे की लोड़ आए गुरु जी डिग खड़ी सब संगत हाथ जोड़ वाहे गुरु जी का खालसा वाहे गुरु जी की फतेह सो टुडेस प्रसंग ऑफ पंथ प्रकाश इज अबाउट द एरिया ऑफ मालवा एंड द हिस्ट्री ऑफ मालवा So Malwa is one of the three prominent areas of Punjab which is divided into Majha, Dwabba and Malwa. The prominent cities of Majha being Amritsar, the prominent cities of Dwabba being Jalandhar and the prominent cities of Malwa being Ludhiana and the likes of Damdama Sahib Sabagri Talwandi where Guru Gobind Singh ji is in this present prasang. So this area is known as a very prosperous area. and one of the reasons it is so prosperous is because of the blessings that guru gobind singh ji gave so guru har gobind sahib ji passed through this area extensively and guru gobind singh ji did as well and staying at sabagri talwandi in particular for 9 months and 9 days guru gobind singh ji gave many blessings at that place it was a place which was prone to drought it was a pl- place that was prone to crop failure and guru gobind singh ji one day is approached by the sangat and this is what this prasang is about han ji दोहरा एक समय तहे मुद मुलक होई बरखे की लोड भाई रतन सिंह जी सेज ऑन वन ओकेजन देयर वाज अ ग्रेट ड्राउट एंड एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ दिस द क्रॉप वाज फेलिंग एंड द फार्मर्स वर इन डेस्परेट नीड ऑफ रेनफॉल टू नरिश देयर फील्ड्स आए गुरु जी डिग खड़ी सब संगत हाथ जोड़ एंड ऑल द गुरु सिख संगत कम इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ गुरु साहिब जी So this is a way where if as a sangat we ever have an issue if we all come to guru sahib ji and do ardas to guru sahib ji is a very meaningful way to seek the blessings of the guru in this way they all come together as a collective falling at the feet of the guru placing their heads at the feet of the guru and folding their hands as the guru do kir upon us bless us with some rainfall chopai aaye saban im baat sunai and coming in all of them telling maharaj of their troubles all of them telling maharaj of their pain all of them telling maharaj of the destitute nature of their trade of their occupation and the challenges that they were experiencing guru gobind singh ji hears all of this mangan barkha sangat aayi the sangat comes to guru gobind singh ji and says we kripa karyo rehmat karo bakshesha karo do kripa on us be merciful to us sat gur di ardas karaye and guru gobind singh maharaj ji ardas karonde ne guru gobind singh ji does ardas they do a prayer the prayer to the 10 guru the nine gurus they came before them the ways the khalsa pant and the gur six do with guru gobind singh ji's name guru granth sahib ji's name and then all of the shahid singh's name and the taqats so this original part of the ardas comes from chandi di bar the original part of the ardas comes from one of the prominent gurbaniya and the guru gobind singh pasha's bani and performing this prayer guru gobind singh ji themselves fulfills the wishes of the sangata pai barkha bahut ab hi aaye us samay barkha pain lag payi si so at that time the at that time rain befalls upon all of the area and the fields become nourished satgur baith damdama aaye and guru gobind singh ji then resides back at damdama where the present day we have guru ki kanchi and maharaj ji rests there maharaj ji sits there maharaj ji ponders and reflects on what's happened through the day kahiyo guru on akhi dikhaye maharaj ji shows to them maharaj ji says to the some of the gur sikhs of the area come here i want to show you something dekho yahan aavag daryaaye there is places where a lot of the rain water is gathering 
And Guru Gobind Singh Ji is telling them that look, look where you see that that water is sitting now, that very soon rivers will flow through this spot. Poom pavag yeh malva aaye. Poom means earth, pavag means to make rich and nourishing. And Maharaj says this tarti of malva, these fields of malva that are known as dry lands, barren lands, lands prone to drought, that these will have rivers flowing through them. So parts of rivers flow through today. Uh, the river Satluj, streams of the river Satluj flowing through. I believe it's the Bertinda area. So some of the ways in which the canaling and so on has been done, there is river water that flows through some of those areas that once did not. And also the, these areas are known as quite fertile lands now. Yes, the Tarti there is a little bit different, but Malwa produces, with Punjab being the breadbasket of India, a significant amount of that grain and crop is produced in Malwa. So Maharaj tells them that that spot where you can see water is residing, a time will come when rivers will flow through there. And when Guru Sahib Ji or indeed like a Sadhu Sant says something, sometimes it's better just to stay quiet. Sometimes it's better to say Sat Bachan, as you say, is true. Sometimes it's better to stay quiet. But sometimes people, and I remember these people by Ratan Singh Ji describes as jungle uneducated people living in the jungles. They're, they're trying to be clever here. They're like, what's Guru Gobind Singh Ji talking about? They said to Guru Gobind Singh, you know, it's impossible. How could rivers flow through these lands? Jal jaog kal apani tor. Maharaj, where you're pointing to and saying that river waters will come through here, even the water that we see piling on top of the earth, because the land underneath is so barren, will all dry away by tomorrow. And you're speaking of rivers. Fera Satguru on bachana sunaye. And then Guru Gobind Singh Ji says to them, so Maharaj responds, so again, just to gain a context here this is the guru sahib ji prophesizing giving them very many blessings and instead of accepting those blessings and having the grace to do so these people are questioning guru the wisdom of the guru the blessings of the guru the gifts that the guru has promised them and also the logic of the guru that the water that you're seeing will become rivers that this this will soak away the, Guru Gobind Singh Padshah kandhe ne ke asi chonne haan ke jida hai malwe da laka ya vye malo mal ho jwe. This area of malwa becomes very very prosperous. Kamaad kanak chawal bejwae. Ithe saare itna diya fasla hoon kamaad shigar khen chawal rice. Ho kira da seya? Bejwae. Bejwae grains. So these types of uh, crops, barley, so on and so forth, that Maharaj wants to have growing there, these are what Guru Gobind Singh Ji is telling them, that time will come where actually these fields are going to grow a whole prosperous type of uh, agricultural produce for you. Sirhand Poom Ki Barakat Jamae In Sirhand, which was one of the prominent Mughal cities, so where you had Lahore and you have Delhi, Sarhanda sat in the middle. So strategically, Sarhanda was very important for trade, for strategy, for military purposes. And it was also known as a very prosperous town. And Maharaj said that, that prosperity enjoyed by Sarhanda, we're going to bring that prosperity to Malwa. So, Dalla Singh Modi Baat. Sampai Dalla Ji na, who may be egged on by his own people or the, the mindset or the attitude or, or or what have you else, or again, also just stuck in his own ways of what he was used to, because sometimes we are, sometimes we come from a certain background, we come onto the path of Sikhi, the Guru gives us a wisdom, but our pull is towards our past. And in this way, Pai Dallaji is not really reflecting on this glorious future of the area of Malwa, the Guru Gobind Singh Ji is giving them, he's reflecting on actually we prefer doing things in this type of way. Ham mot bajari palo lugat. Different type of lentils, different types of dry grains. We prefer these. We prefer growing these. We are not actually into growing some of these more, um, these different types of crops that you're speaking about, Maharaj. Dohura tao sat guru gusso kahiyo tom mara jangli thai. Maharaj says to them that you, like people, are such simpletons, that you are so stuck in your way. And in a way, let's forget Maharaj is speaking to someone external here and let's think of Maharaj is speaking to us. The things that Maharaj tells us to do in our life, the things that Maharaj says we can have in our life and we say, no Maharaj, what will my friends think? No Maharaj, this will be difficult. No Maharaj, what will people say about me? No Maharaj, I can't stop drinking because my friends drink. Or 
any of these or it's hard to keep Gursiki Roop in the modern day. Any of these things that we get stuck to from our past, from our old ways of being, unable to adapt to what the Guru is telling us, this is what Guru Gobind Singh Ji is saying. This is, this is the mentality that Guru Gobind Singh Ji is frowning upon. Ham poom banavan malva jave tumha karaye Maharaj says, I'm not going to listen to anything that you have to say. We don't have to tell the Guru what's best for us. The Guru is like the old father. Gurudev Mata, Gurudev Pita, Gurudev Swami Parmeswara. The Guru Sahib Ji is our father. Guru Sahib Ji is our mother. And Guru Sahib Ji is our almighty master. Lord, God, Divine Being, Vaiguru, Allah, Ram, whatever language you want to refer to them in, there's an endless stream of names that will never end in their glory and in their praise. And Guru Sahib Ji is the manifestation of them. They are the embodiment, that truth, that Nirankar, who is formless as Akal Purk, who takes the body, who takes the avatar of the Guru, present at those times and even today as Guru Gobind Singh Ji, offering a multitude of blessings. Amaraji says that you can stay stuck in your ways, but from my end, I have become pleased and I am blessing these lands and I will bless them with a great amount of wealth, a great amount of richness, and they will be known as the most fertile lands of the land. And Tan, Padarth, many riches, much grain, Pasala, both Sarakos Punjab to Yonda, both Sarakos Malve de Alake to Yonda. They a Kinadi Dena, a Kinadi Bakshesha, a Guru Govan say Maradi Bakshesha. Swapanuka de Maradi Bakshesh, Naipol Nichaidi. We should never forget Maraj's Bakshesh, and we should never forget the state that we were in before Maraj came. So this is a very simple example. Sometimes we, we have a lot of pride in being Punjabi. We have a lot of pride in being Pamalwa. We have a lot of pride in being Jat. All of these things are mentioned here. These are all things that we take pride in. However, tell me one famous Jat from the 1500s, 500 years worth of history. Probably the only Jats you're able to say or ones that did service in the house of Guru, either becoming Shaheeds or Sants. We talk about Punjabi culture, a famous Punjabi poet, a famous Punjabi historian, a famous Punjabi singer, a famous Punjabi wrestler, a famous Punjabi actor. Any of these things, you couldn't tell me one from probably more than 50 years ago, let alone 500 years ago. So it kind of tells us that had Guru Nandir Ji not had Kirpa, had Guru Nandir Ji not blessed that land, like, we wouldn't be what we are. Yes, there is a, a significant Sufi influence that has come across in literature, poetry, and music, but even that came from saints. Even that stemmed from people who were Rabbi De Piyare. So it's like, you take away the spirituality, you take away the Sikhi, you take away the godliness from Punjab, we know what we have left. We have left a bit of a rotten culture with alcoholism, misogynism, and a whole load of problems. So, Yes, we're proud to be Punjabi, we're proud to be Punjab, we're proud to have our ancestry and our roots in that place where our ancestors took the message of the Guru. But let's take the positivity from that and abandon the negativity in that because there's way, 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 way too much negativity and it's not merited because a lot of that land was barren wasteland. Those people were junglies until the Gurus came and blessed them with a more enlightened way of living. We now abandon that more enlightened way of living and take some of those jungly animalistic traits with the way we are, the way we carry ourselves, the way we treat to each, the way we treat each other, the way we treat women, so on and so forth, all comes from this very backward, uneducated, uncivilized way of being. The warrior culture, the saint culture, the serving the guru culture, the meditating culture, the living an honest uh, living, being a sincere person, so on and so forth. We've abandoned these. So, Punjabi culture, we need, because the language is where we come from, our ancestry, knowing our roots, knowing our villages, where Sikh history is, is much of it stems from, we need. But the discerning mind, the discerning intellect, is able to separate water and milk, is able to see what's here that's kacha, and what's here that's pakka, what's here that's actually false, what's here 
what aspects of this could I get myself caught up into that would lead me into a toxic place with toxic people with a toxic attitude? Yeah. Or what could I take from this that will lead me towards being a more enlightened being, able to add value in my own life, my family's life, my parents' life, my children's life, my partner's life, my siblings' life, all of these things. This is Gursikhi. So Gursikhi over Punjabiyat, 100 times out of 100. And that doesn't matter actually where we come from in the world. That doesn't matter what culture we come from. It doesn't matter if we're British. It doesn't matter if we're American. It doesn't matter if we're Canadian and we're a third generation and we've forgotten that we're even Punjabi and we're trying to now take aspects of that host culture. Or sometimes what we do, we don't even take aspects of that host culture. We take aspects of a foreign culture that's come into that host culture. There's a bit of a backlash towards that. It's like when people go towards gangsterism. It's kind of overrated. Look at Baba Deep Singh. Look at Kali Fula Singh. Look at all these Surme, these Jode. Look at what's happening even in India now. Now, things are challenging riot police. They're challenging army. They're, they're using their crossbows on shooting down drones. Like, that doesn't get more gangster than that. It doesn't get more intense than that. So, really... We need to delve deep into our history. We need to delve deep into the Gursikhi that Maharaj has given us. Know where the good things that we have come from. Recognize them within ourselves, within our culture, within our tradition, within our Guru's house. And abandon everything negative. Otherwise, we're going to end up like with those people. Who, yeah, we, we come from a Sikh family. We know about Guru Nanak Dev Ji. We Matate Guru Granth Sahib Ji. We do all of that. But we're like the junglies. We answer back to everything the Guru is saying. We don't follow what the Guru is saying. We do the opposite of what the Guru is saying. The Guru is on their path to carve out a better future for this world and the inhabitants of it through the message of truth. And we are doing whatever shenanigans we are doing. So this is the end of today's prasang. It's a very short prasang. But I think one that's filled with very meaningful messages. The main one of being is, Guru da bachanaya, the sayings of the Guru, they are in Guru Granth Sahib Ji. One by one, each time we read them, we should say Sat Bachan, Sat Bachan. Give up this thing, Sat Bachan. Start doing this thing, Sat Bachan. Walk on this path, Sat Bachan. Stop hanging around with these types of people, Sat Bachan. So when we do that, we can start counting our blessings and we can actually start changing and reforming as a person. And that can transform us into mere mortals and to the types of people that others would revere as like great saintly godly beings. And even if we're not going to get that far, and you're like me, then it can be like people who are actually like pasus, people who are like beasts within themselves, and those beasts can become transformed, yeah? So we might not all get to devte, we might not get to that, we might not even all get to being worthy human beings, men or women, but we can at least try and make that pasu within us, we can at least try and make that beast within us and everything that comes with that more righteous and this is the path that Maharaj sets us on so on very short prasang but one filled with very many lessons and the barka the rain what is the rain that when we go to Guru Sahib they can give us it's kirpa isn't it at any time Maharaj can give kirpa to us that's why we do our das we do our das to ask Maharaj that rain for us could be anything in our life it could be absolutely anything that we need or we want and we don't need to go to anyone else. We can go to Guru Sahib for these things. Anji. Dohora Tau Satgur Gusso Kihyo Tum Mara Jangli Thai Ham Poom Banavan Malva Java Tum Karai Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh Jakarik Jave Nialo Jave Shida Singha Nupa Vahe Guru Ji Ka Khansa, Vahe Guru Ji Ki Fateh.